There's no green hey. onion in that. She's already telling me all about it. <laughs> Kathleen Phillips, gritsagouda.com. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so you do variations on your pimento cheese. Uh, this one's a baked one, and um, you said it's okay this time to use the pre-shredded cheese. Yes. Sometimes, most of the time, she'll tell us, shred it yourself. Absolutely. It it yes, if you want it to be a creamy spread like regular pimento mm -hmm. cheese, then you want to shred your own. But this is okay. But this is okay because you're going to bake it. It's going to melt okay. anyway. All right. Well, it doesn't take very many ingredients, does it? No, it doesn't. But we can talk about each one. Okay. First, I have microwaved this cream cheese. You don't have to wait for it to dry on the can, uh, to cook. What am I trying to say? Soften. Soften. Okay. It takes two of us. <laughs> on the <laughs> counter, you can microwave it. So You just want it soft. That's right. Okay. Then you're going to add some mayonnaise, your brand, whatever you like. Okay. I know it is a personal preference. It is. Mayonnaise but, is um, a personal thing. But you know, I grew up, my mama made her mayonnaise. So, really? Yes. Yeah, oh. So um, that's what I was used to. And this is the closest to me to homemade. So okay. we've got those two ingredients. Okay. Then you're going to literally dump an entire 12 ounce bag. Oh, bag. That's right. We're gilding the lily for sure with okay. this much cheese. Stirring it in. Now, we're about to add pimento. You know, I say pimento, mm -hmm. you know, because that's the way we southerners call it, but it's pimento cheese. We're, I mean, pimento, all it is is diced. It's a certain kind of pepper. I'm not even going to drain it. Mm -hmm. That's a shortcut. Do you remember before you realized what pimento cheese was? I mean, I remember growing up and we, we ate it, but I didn't know it was those little pimentos that just went into cheese. I yep. didn't realize that. And so, and that's all you have to have is the jar already made. That's what makes it so easy. Very easy. But if you do not have the little diced, if mm -hmm. you have a jar of red bell, roasted red bell mm -hmm. peppers, just chop those up. Use what you have. Okay. So what we're doing now, now bacon, there's no shame and using real bacon. Do not use those little crispy bits that are not real bacon. Like for the stuff that some people might get for the salads. Yeah, don't do that. Yes, okay. don't do that. But what I did was I um, put that in the oven for mm -hmm. while I'm doing this okay. right here, and it crisps up this real Because bacon. they're real bacon bits. Because it's real bacon. Okay. So we're going to add that bacon real quick. Right. You don't even have to grease this dish, mm -hmm. all right, because there's, you know, mayonnaise and bacon right. and cheese. So. This now this I put in a cast iron skillet because you know it's it's pretty makes mm -hmm. a good presentation but you can put it in a casserole dish just pour that in there bake it 350 okay. for really it only takes 20 25 minutes and you can make this ahead of time and then warm it up now optional if you want to put um, green onions mm -hmm. in there you can before you put it in the oven before you put okay. it in the oven and then uh, bake it and then I'm serving it with tortilla chips and sweet potato chips but you can serve it with crackers. It looks like cornbread doesn't it? Um, it, it, it does. In the, well, in the when, it's it super, like when it's super warm mm -hmm. when you put your chip in there you've got that, that cheese great cheese kind of pull. pull. Yes but it's a great dip for game day or Christmas. And it's so easy. So We're done. very easy. I mean, that's how easy it is. Right. Oh, one more thing. Yeah. You, if you don't even want to make your own Buy a high quality pimento cheese in the container, plop it in there and bake it. There See? you go. Another you shortcut. And you, and you don't have to tell anybody. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. I guess just taste what you like that's pre made already. And a high quality go. pimento cheese. Okay. All right, well, we'll have the recipe for you. She makes it look really easy and looks really good. So uh, you can go to gritsandgooda.com and uh, get more information on all her recipes and her shortcuts and the like. Yep. The like. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back.